Well, I'm talking to Claire Barber, and we're talking about Isle of, Isle of Pride, which uh, is coming soon. And uh, there's a corporate event coming up. We're just doing this slightly ahead because of conflicting schedules. But uh, time to, to talk about getting some money behind this event. Over to you, Claire. So what we're looking to do is have a, a launch event for corporate sponsors. So um, looking at people who are partnered with us already, but also asking other companies who've already indicated that they might be interested to talk with us a little bit further about the opportunities that there are available. So we've gone through all the formal processes. It's taken quite a while. We've got the company's registration, charities registration, bank accounts, all of the steps you have to go to get something up and running and all the official uh policies and procedures that you need in place so that we're now comfortable with um, there's always more work to do don't get me wrong <laughs> um, but we're now in a position to now formalize some of those those opportunities so we've put on an event uh, for tomorrow night mm -hmm. And that will have a, a number of people there that we want to engage with and talking about not necessarily just financial support, but also how we can work together to help with uh, corporate social responsibility elements through their own companies and also benefit in kind agreements where maybe staff come and support the event and provide physical support. So there's a number of opportunities for people to get involved and we certainly wouldn't want anyone thinking, oh, well, I can't put a big amount of money, so therefore I can't be part of it. That's absolutely not the case. This is very much, as we've always said, pride for everyone and we're very keen to explore all sorts of partnership opportunities. What's the feeling out there? Is this, is this a difficult sell or not? I mean it's a, it's a new event and there's always money is tight trying to find money but how's it going down with people when you say Isle of Pride and, and all the things that probably go with that title? Almost? Really well actually I think that there's a lot of different organisations that have already taken on the values that we have, equality, diversity, inclusion and that's already a core part of their business so actually there's some real good uh, synergies there I think where we, we've got uh, something to offer that fulfills something that they're very keen to deliver um, and that's the same actually with our charity partners so that's something we've been very keen to to really build on is having partnership networks where we can benefit each other so it's not just partnerships for the sake of partnerships but it's saying actually where there's people who are you know We've partnered with the Manx Deaf Society, for example, because we're very keen on the inclusion, equality, and that's for everyone. And so we see that there's a very obvious dynamic there where we can support them in their work because that very much ties into that equality mm -hmm. field. Okay, people want more information. I mean, you know, you've got a website for that sort of thing and people can sign up? Yeah, so we've got uh, the website www.isleofpride.im and the email address info at isleofpride.im. Mm -hmm. um, if anyone wants to get in touch, we've also got the Facebook groups, uh, various social media channels, um, and we'd love to hear from people. And I haven't really asked about what's going on because I think it's a fluid thing, isn't it? It's still being discuss but any little morsels of what, what are you planning <laughs> so the, the event as we've said is going to be between 13th and 20th of, of June there's going to be a, a week long period of different events that's after TT is it is, that it is yeah, yeah right, so yeah. that's that's the timing that we've got at the moment um, we've got lots of ideas we've got lots of preliminary discussions going on but there's a, a an order we have to do things in and I can see that once you're in the second and third year it becomes far easier mm -hmm. because you've got your structure and you can go in in terms of um, sorting funding earlier um, because of the registrations bank accounts and so on we've had to get the preliminary interest and now we're going to that point of advancing those to the next step um, but yeah lots of interest which is really positive and lots of people who really buy into the, the the pride concept actually and saying that pride is very much for everyone and we want this to be for everyone and for the island. <laughs>